Hey guys, it's uh, Harry Swaminathan again. Um, we're looking at the Google trade. As you can see, uh, today is April 4th. We already uh, uh, should have seen a video uh, this morning. Um, it's about 10.30 a.m. and Google is down another $11 today. So we have an iron condor on Google and um, the short strike is at 770. So it's not it's not real close or anything. Uh, but what we want to do is I want to I want to touch upon a kind of an adjustment uh, and you could use this kind of adjustment for uh, an iron condor that is obviously uh, in trouble on one side. You could also use it for credit spreads and um, so you know whenever you have a credit spread which is in trouble you could potentially use this kind of a low risk high reward kind of an adjustment. So what we are looking at here is is a butterfly and if you don't know what a butterfly is uh, you can choose either one calls or puts it doesn't matter butterflies uh, don't really matter you can see whether you take the call or a put the uh, risk profile really doesn't change much. Um, what the butterfly is is you have three different strikes and you have a center strike where you have twice the number of short options and you have on the other two strikes you have one time the number of uh, long options. So you know this ratio can be anything it can be 1 is to 2 is to 1, 2 is to 4 is to uh, 2 uh, but you know the principle is that you need to have twice the number of shorts uh, on the middle strike. Uh, if you are not familiar with the butterfly uh, I do have a course but you know I'm giving you the basics here and what it does is you know you can see Google's right now at 796 and what happens is so this is a bearish uh, butterfly so if we expect Google to continue to go down then what happens is that if it comes into the butterfly zone uh, uh, the butterfly has a very narrow range for profit okay so that's the characteristic of a butterfly but if it does end up in that zone you can see that the reward is very high so for this um, we are going to pay only about 75 or 80 cents per contract. So you can see for, for a 10 contract, even though we have a short of 20, this is considered a 10, uh, a 10 strike, uh, I mean sorry, 10 contract butterfly. You, you're going to see your buying power effect is only $880. But if it comes right in the middle, you can see it's going to make $7,000 or $8,000. So there's a reward potential of 10 is to 1 on this uh, on this kind of a trade. Now, Obviously, you know, that's very speculative. What are the chances that it will end up right in this zone and right at this point? Obviously, very, very low. However, now where I find butterflies really useful is when you use them uh, to protect one side of your credit spread. So right now we are only looking at the butterfly. Now what I'm going to do, that's because I've hidden my positions on Google. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show, uh, do a show all. Okay, and whenever you're dealing with different expirations, you're going to have to come here and look at the you know expiration and change it to two expirations. So this is what happens when you add the butterfly to our existing position. So right now, again, Google's right here, and what we did, which I forgot to mention, is that we chose the butterfly in the weekly series because butterfly is a time decay strategy. So if you looked at the butterfly. Uh, the series that I actually have put this butterfly is right here uh, in the April weekly series which have 8 days to expiry. Our iron condor has 15 or 16 days left to expiry right now. So if we took the weeklies and we constructed this butterfly this is what we get. So the way you would think of this adjustment is that over the next seven days let's say if Google continues to go down then what happens is this butterfly you know you're going to enter the zone of this butterfly. Now the orangish line that is our iron condor so you know don't worry about that it's just there to tell you uh, what your iron condor will be on this particular date on 420. But if you look at 413 see what happens to your trade on 413. And if Google is somewhere here, you're going to make a profit of, and if Google expires, let's say next Friday, it expires right here, you're going to make a real killing. 
So what I, you know what so what we have done with this with this adjustment is for a price of eight hundred and eighty dollars, we've basically protected this credit spread and the iron condor as a whole because if Google starts expiring right into this little triangle here, uh, you're going to see the white line. Uh, go up significantly because you can see now we have a theta decay of 253 on a daily basis. So if we just move this up um, and let's say Google came came to you know 780 or something like that. So let's 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 just simulate this. So we come here and we say that Google. Let me pull this up a little bit. Okay, let's say Google came down to 780 over the next six days okay five days or six days so if it if it did that then i'm going to move up the date by five or six days so we take it up to uh, you know 10 uh, or uh, april 10th and you can see we will have a profit of 1700 dollars on this trade and if you move it further it's going to go even further 2500 uh, that moves it up to 3,500, and then of course, uh, you know, on the day of expiry, you're going to see uh, 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 you're going to see a big profit of 5,200. So let me reset all parameters, and that's what we look at. So if we think that the uh, that Google is con is going to continue to go down, then uh, this is what. Uh, we could do and what you would do in this case if it if you're you know if Google does enter into this triangular zone and it's going to expire somewhere there then what you would do is close the whole thing okay so you would close the butterfly individually and you'll close uh, the iron condors individually uh, you know basically you would close out this credit spread because this credit spread is the one that's going to be hurting at that point you would close out this credit spread you would close out this butterfly because you know butterfly once you're in a good profit zone uh, you want to cash it in because it doesn't have much room you know in a one move out of this thing it can um, it can uh, destroy your profit so you want to be careful about that you can leave this side on because this side is obviously profitable and there's so much room here so you don't have to worry about this you basically have to worry about the credit spread and then if you have profits on the butterfly then you want to protect those profits so this is an adjustment that we don't need to do today but maybe by tomorrow or so uh, if Google continues to go down hits uh, comes into the 780s somewhere there I would want to put this trade on tomorrow. That's it, folks. If you have any questions, send me an email. Thank you.